Well, one of the things that we, you know, we'll do now, because the tour ends next weekend, that's the last weekend of the tour, so one of the things we'll, we'll do is make the film freely available to any groups oh, that want to use it. So it's going to be online, and we've had it translated into different languages as well, and we've also got a captioned version for deaf and hard of hearing wow. people, all thanks to the Arts Council, amazing. Yeah. Um, so that will be available um, so any groups that want to show it, they just need to send us a message oh. and we can make it freely available. I, I um, the thing about the tra travelling is really interesting. It's come up in some of the discussions we've had as we've been touring around because, you know, after the Second World War, with the communist regimes in, in, in Europe outlawed travelling as well, yeah. so we've had discussions about what is it that people are so afraid of yeah. about travelling. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if Imogen's got any, any, because obviously it's not my heritage, but I don't know if Imogen's got anything to, to add to that discussion because it does seem like it comes out of fear um, to try and stop people from traveling. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's, um, it's some ideological terror of the other, yeah. um, if, if that makes sense. That's kind of the root of all, all racist um, behavior. Um, I mean, you know, we have the Police and Crimes and Sentencing Bill coming in on Tuesday, which prevents uh, roadside families living roadside. So, the deathless woman, um, the history of it isn't over. Like the, the, it's contemporarily we're witnessing history this week in our community. And uh, so, for example, um, I have some cousins living roadside just down the hill from me, my Cooper cousins, and um, they've been served their notices and. Well, you know, where uh, where are they to go? Their uh, homes could be taken away from their living, their living caravans and vans. Now, if you juxtapose that with the political class um, that we have at the moment, and the memoir writing on their private land in their shepherd's huts, painted bardo green by the iconic British company, paint company, that is sort of the tip of the iceberg of cherry picking the golden age of our daily thing, you know, when it was, you know, the, the pastoral wagon, painted wagon with the campfire and the green tenting, pre-war. Um, now, that exists as, a, as an aesthetic for these privileged people. These are the same politicians who have just put this into law to make it illegal for gypsies and Roma and travellers in England and, and the UK to actually live their way of life, that they are themselves carpetbagging. And this, whilst this um, cognitive dissonance and, and outright racism is allowed to perpetrate, us here who are, who are the descendants of the gypsies and the Roma and the traveller of, of the era that they're uh, using their rosy tinted specs to, to sort of emulate something of it. They, so it's like they know we're here, they appreciate certain parts of our heritage, but they don't actually appreciate us contemporarily, and we're still here. Um, we haven't gone anywhere, but some of us live in houses now, but the ones of us that live out on the roadside are really in, in quite a great deal of danger, and, and not just um, physical danger, but it's, it's the cultural erasure it's what what does it mean to have an, a different ethnicity but also be white passing in a, in a country where they would deny that there's racism against gypsy Roman travelers and yet they're enacting overt racism by passing a law that would make it illegal to use the commons the land and so in the death of someone where, where I think um, it's when Oliver's speaking a poem about the woods and land. Woods and land, it's like, yeah, our woods, our land, but it's everybody's woods and land. It's just the gypsies represent something contra to... It, this, this is the problem. You, you can't aesthetically appropriate a part of a culture whilst denying the contemporary representation a lived people of that culture and yet that is exactly what's happening this week so it's just a very difficult space to be another witness to another part of history that involves erasure of
gypsy Roma traveller culture, specifically in the UK, but um, everywhere. So I just put that in the, in the, in the bag for now. But yeah, that's 